Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hello to our lecturer Encik Omar bin Asarun My name is Muhammad Luqmanul Hakim bin Dula Aspa My metric number B0991042 Today I will present about our assignment BMMP1323 Manufacturing Process Okay from here uh, This is our team That together we discuss together about making a process. We choose a spoon uh, for this process. Okay, spoon. Okay, the first slide is the item. Okay, for the item we use a stainless steel. Okay, the stainless steel in fact is very hygienic and has perfect properties in terms of resistance to corrosion and high temperature. Stainless steel has a low percentage of carbon and contain about 10% chrome. The addition, the addition of chrome is what give steel its property of stainless steel and corrosion resistant. This is the picture of the stainless steel. Okay, for the process, okay, for making this spoon, uh, this is the process of making this spoon. They have a uh, uh, eight process, which is the first one is blinking, then rolling, then annealing, and then cutting bowl outline, and then fa forming pattern, and then forming bowl, and then silver plating, and the last one is polishing. Okay, for the first process, which is blink, blanking. Okay, production begin with rectangular flat, blank of stainless steel, sterling silver, or in the case of flat, uh, flat wire, flat wear, and alloy. Larger rolls are uh, stamped in individual blank, which are flat piece. Roughly the same shape as the piece to be produced. Okay, this is the picture of uh, how blanking fed off. They have a rectangular stainless steel. And then this is the, the one that will stem together in, to have the piece of spoon. Thank you, Norman Aspa, for explaining the, pro uh, the first process. So, my name is Muhammad Hafiz Berahim. So, I'm going to explain about the second process and the third process, which is rolling and annealing. The workpiece are rolled to the correct thickness and shapes required by the manufacturer's flatware patterns. The blanks are rolled from left to right and right to left and vice versa. Then, the outline was stringed. For instance, each spoon must be thick at the base of the handle to resist bending. This gives graded pieces the right balance and good feel in hand. The second process is annealing. The workpiece must pass through annealing hours to soften the metals. Annealing must be done very accurately, controlled, so the final piece will be resistant to bending and dance when used. Then the metal can be forced easily into all tiny details in the dice. Thank you. That's all from me. Thank you, Hafiz Rahim. I will continue for the next process. The next process is cutting to outline. The roll blank are placed in the cut out press by an operator to remove the excess metal and to fashion the shape of the piece. This piece is similar to cutting shape from the roll dough. The shape of the, of the piece is cut out of the metal and the excess metal is remelt and transformed back into a sheet of metal to be used again. The streaming must ensure an accurate fit of the piece into the dice when the design is applied. So there we go to the another step is a forming the pattern process. In this step, the forming of the pattern each pattern has its own hardened steel dice 
two dice for each piece. One with the pattern for the front of the piece and the other with the pattern for the back of the piece. These are carefully set in the hammer by dice setters. The operator quickly places a piece in a place under the drop hammer, which descends with the hydraulic press of 200 ton. The base of the drop hammer uh, depends in 160 cubic yard of cement. The metal is squeezed into a very tiny details of the ornamentation in the die. Embossing the pattern on the piece, the blow of the hammer harden the piece by use in the home. Sulfur surface metal around the outline of the piece is then removed by clipping the process. So I will pass the next process to Mail. Thank you to Lokman and now I will continue the process forming the bowl. After the pattern has been embossed upon the front and the back of the handle, the next step is the forming of the bowl. The forming is done again under the same powerful drop hammer from accurate steel dies. Each bowl requires two hammer blows. Surplus metal around the outline of the, of the spoon is removed by the clipping press. The small bowl still remains to be removed at the later operation. And the next process is the silver plating. The piece of the first prepared by being buffed so that the edge are smooth and the surface are free from any hole. When the buff is complete, the piece are given through a cleaning with as many as 12 different chemical solutions. Finally, they undergo electrolysis in which a layer of the silver is electrically deposited over the base metal. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Izzat Azim bin Muhammad Iskandar. To continue our presentations, I will talk about the last steps in the making of spoons, which is buffing and sand polishing. The spoons are now buff, then polish. Polishing metal is actually removing the uneven material by knocking down the microscopic bumps in the material. Depending on the pattern, Special finishing processes can give silver plated and sterling silver piece a bright, mirror like finish, a soft, steady glow, or brush or ferritin finish. Lastly, I will talk about quality control. Final inspection checks the piece of chaff, scratches, rough spots on the spoons decoloration, or any other flaws that might have occurred when the piece was stamped, shaped, and polished. That's all for me. Thank you.